Um, unfortunately, uh, we couldn't close a gap offensively. I, they jumped out to that 8-4 to four lead, um, and I just think uh, we ran out of gas. We came back the first time with a big three-run home run from Jake. Um, very obviously timely. He's been doing it all year for us. We tied it. Uh, but they just kept pressing on, and, and they did a good job offensively. They kept pressuring us. Uh, we made some mistakes defensively, um, and it, it compounded itself. And obviously, the 8-4 to four lead was something we couldn't come back from. I thought Randall was OK. Uh, he had the difficult first inning um, against a team that's been very good t uh, traditionally over the past month in the first inning. Uh, and we were aware of that. And, uh, and uh, you, the pitch counts were very consistent in the high teens and was only able to give us five innings. And then I thought the bullpen tried to patch the bullpen together to, to limit some of the offensive damage. But 8-4 uh, to four just looked like it was too big of a lead for us, for us to come back from. Well, you got to give him some credit. Yeah, there's a couple there in, in, the, in the same inning that, that come to mind. Um, the, the dive on, on the play where VR got hurt, and then the line drive that followed from, from Blanco. Those were two tough moments. Um, I thought Herm hit a uh, hard line drive ground ball to the first baseman. He made a hard line drive to the first baseman. He made a nice play. So I'll take that. Those are good approaches, well hit balls, um, well executed plans. Those are things that, um, that we can live with. And we know uh, the law of averages will, will, will fall in our favor if we continue to do that. Yeah, they kept they kept they kept pumping at us, and uh, um, uh, you got to give them some credit. Uh, Randall's been throwing the ball very good. A couple of, couple of relievers made some some quick mistakes, and they jumped on him. So, yeah, I thought it was one of those nights where um, it was a little bit frustrating uh, for a lot of reasons. But you know, the Brewers came out and hit the ball well and um, and did their job. Unfortunately, we couldn't pace keep pace with them. Yeah. That you see yeah. Well, I thought we had the same fight and the same energy and the same focus. And um, you know, a couple, a couple of moments that stick out in my mind were the one inning where we had a couple well hit balls to the, to the right side. They made plays. Co just barely missed hitting a grand slam. I thought it was a great swing. So, I mean, these guys were putting themselves in the position to um, to to score some runs and. and Potentially have a big inning. It's just unfortunate we didn't get that big hit as we typically have. But the, the, everything was, from from my vantage point, everything was the same. I felt like these guys were grinding, putting themselves in a good spot, and just just couldn't finish the job. I was just, I was going to ask um, you, you talked about Taiwan earlier today. Right. Is, is he starting to come back? Are you looking at Randall still as a spot starter or, or potential replacement for Shelby? Uh, I think at this point. We're gonna. We're, we haven't had the discussion. We'll probably continue talking about this as is the next couple of days wear on. But I think we're we're looking at Randall as a guy that can stay in the starting rotation. You know, um, I I know that today wasn't his best outing, but uh, like I said in pregame, I know um, there's going to be these moments for every starting pitcher. You have them, and we're not going to just run run over one bad start and say that's it. I think we deserve. Uh, to continue seeing what Randall can do. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, Jake is really locked in right now. Yeah, good spot. He's in a real good spot, and you know, he, he, you, he comes up and you just kind of sit at the edge of your seat waiting for something to happen. That's the feeling I get every time he walks up there, and he's not missing his pitch. So, a lot of credit to him. Uh, he is he's carried us at times, and today's home run was a huge moment for us. It got us right back in the ball game. Mm -hmm. All star voting. You mentioned it, you know, a day or two ago, and yeah. he's not even in the top five. I mean, Goldie's fourth for first base. Well, why do you think that is? I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, having watched those two guys, and there's a couple others on this team that deserve a lot of consideration. And you know, to to the fans of the of the, of the Arizona Diamondbacks, I just hope that you get out there and and they you know, do your job and vote for these guys because they're well deserving of all star consideration.